We're here at ITU Telecom World 2012 in Dubai, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Bruno Lanvin, who is Executive Director eLab for INSEAD, and he's also a Commissioner for the Broadband Commission. Bruno, thank you very much for being with us today. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to start off by talking about the great transformation that's been happening in the ICT sector, and uh, what's your uh, take on this? Well, my take on this is that the, uh, we have seen nothing yet, as this in Texas. The, uh, the internet has not been the true revolution for the majority of mankind. The true revolution has been mobile telephony. Now with mobile broadband, we're going to see the convergence of these two major trends, and it's going to be spectacular. At the same time, uh, technology will be only part of what will define the future. Uh, innovation is what will make a difference, uh, and the way in which innovation will be carried that is more uh, open, more collaborative, involving more smaller players uh, among countries, among companies, will also shape the world in, in ways that are yet uh, to be admired. I was going to ask you about the new players. Who are the new players in this, in this market? We have three kinds of uh, new players. Uh, the uh, first kind is obviously those companies that did not exist five years, ten years ago. Uh, you know, the uh, quickly coming up, the, uh, the Googles, the Facebooks of, of tomorrow. And we see some of them starting to emerge and taking spots which have not been occupied before. They are creating new spaces of competition. Uh, we also see new countries coming up uh, the ladder of innovation and use of technologies. Everybody, of course, uh, uh, sees the the developments in China and the Chinese companies uh, spreading their wings and uh, creating new products. But we also see a number of smaller countries uh, which are emerging among the top players in, the, in those fields. And some of them happen to be emerging countries. And what do you think are going to be the major challenges in the ICT transformation? Well, the main challenge would be to gear ICT uh, improvements and uh, ICT changes and ICT innovations to better lives. Uh, that means reaching out to the totality of the world population and not just the, the two or three billion, which are only a, a portion of what uh, uh, we should consider as a global entity, that is mankind. And the, the challenge is going to be not so much in the technology, but in the imagination with which we'll be able to gear the technology to bettering people's lives. And this, this has to do with innovation, it has to do with education and skills. So gearing up the uh, human uh, capital component as opposed to the technology capital component uh, will be the main challenge. So what's your, your vision or, or response to take advantage of these opportunities that are also arising, obviously? Well, what we've seen <coughs> over the last decade is very encouraging. That is, we've seen these new players, smaller companies, uh, smaller countries getting up to the plate and being successful. Um, and there are reasons to think that the young generation, uh, the, the, those who were born in the digital uh, area, the digital natives, as they are often called, are going to be, uh, to be very creative, not just in terms of technology, uh, but in terms of usage. Uh, we know that these uh, innovations I've been mentioning before will be user-driven. They will also be content-focused. So what will happen in the area of digital content, of uh, multidisciplinarity, of uh, using different languages, reflecting different cultures, and turning that into marketable products uh, makes me very optimistic about the future. So finally, we're here at ITU Telecom World 2012. What makes this event important and what would you hope to be the outcome from it? Well, the, what I've seen is uh, clearly another step towards this uh, big objectives of making technological innovation more relevant to uh, improve the, the lives of, of people uh, around the world. What I've seen is new mindsets coming up. It's not just about brains, it's about minds, definitely. That's one of the uh, messages and vibrations I got. And we've been talking about uh, e-health, e-government, e-everything for years. Uh, I think an event like this reminds us, especially when we involve younger people, that the E needs to be about engagement, it needs to be about enthusiasm, and it needs to be about excitement. Bruno Lavin, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.